Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very, very well. I have a very fun video for you guys today. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my NYC mouse experience. In my apartment, not in the subways, not on the streets, but in my apartment, okay? Guys, I'm very, very, very scared of mice. So this is gonna be a really fun and hopefully entertaining video. Let's just get right into this. Okay, well, this past November, me and my husband, Muzzy, we went to Thailand for a vacation. And my sister-in-law, she used to live with us. So she used to live in our apartment. And so me and Muzzy went to Thailand in November for a vacation and she was here by herself. We got there on like a Saturday. Monday, we get a text from her and she texted us saying that, hey guys, I'm so sorry that I'm texting you during a vacation, but we have a situation. And my heart was like, what the, what, what the heck? Like, what, what can it be? What can it be? And she's like, there's a mouse in your apartment. And I immediately freaked the heck out. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What are we gonna do? And like our apartment is like 437 square feet. So it's already very small. So if there's any insects, if there's any mice or creatures in here, my anxiety levels just like skyrocket. Cause I'm just like, what the heck? There cannot be any disgusting things in this apartment or I'm gonna literally like throw up. So I was like freaking out. Muzzy was like, okay, do not look at the text messages. Like, don't look at them. You're in Thailand, enjoy your vacation. So I just carried on. I didn't look at my phone. Like, so I, I guess Muzzy and Nora were texting on the side, like without me. And I didn't know that they were texting, right? So like the week went by, everything's good. Like no text messages, I'm good. And then literally on the last day, it was a Saturday. We were sitting in the hotel lobby about to check out. And Muzzy went to the front desk to check us out of the hotel. And I was sitting in the lobby and his phone was there. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if like, I wonder what happened with our, um, my situation and I hope our apartment's okay. And so I read through his messages with Nora. And this is where it gets really, really interesting guys. So she said, that she was sleeping on the floor so we have you can't see them but like right here above this ikea closet we have like um portable mattresses so whenever we have guests over they take those off and it's like a really nice queen size mattress that you can like fold up and whatnot and so she used that and slept on the floor like next to the couch on the floor she was sitting on the floor like on her phone or whatever right and we had this mirror like right right here and so she saw the mouse underneath this sofa through the mirror she thought that she was like seeing things so she was like mm, nah like it's not a mouse like whatever so she went to the bathroom and then she went to the closet and the closet's like right there that closet right there she went to this closet to pick out her clothes for work the next day and she saw the mouse in her suitcase. In her suitcase, guys. In her suitcase. That's disgusting. She saw the mouse in her suitcase. And she obviously screamed. And then she's like, ah! I mean, that's what I would imagine she would look like. Like, ah! Like, ah! And so she screamed. And then she literally... <laughs> She screamed and then the mouse ran behind our Ikea closet and then into the radiator. So we have this radiator right here. You can't see it, but it went back into the radiator. And so she, what she did was she cleaned everything. She like wiped everything down, sweeped the floor, took out anything that's like the mouse could have touched, like the suitcase she threw away. I think she had candy in her closet, so she threw that away. So she cleaned the place up basically. So she ended up sleeping on this couch for the night. However, things get even more interesting. She was sleeping and then she could not sleep because she heard the mice. She heard the mice, guys. I'm like, 
I have goosebumps right now just by like thinking about this. She heard the mice behind the closet over here and get ready for this on top of the refrigerator. Yeah, you heard that correctly. So she was freaking out. The next day what she did was she was talking to my mother-in-law and father-in-law and they were talking about like methods of how to get rid of mice. And one of the main things was peppermint oil. So she bought peppermint oil, doused uh, paper towel in peppermint oil and like stuffed paper towels in the radiator. And there's still some like small paper towels like in the radiator. And it's so funny cause I'm like, oh my God, this poor child. Like that sucks, dude. She put um, paper towel in the radiator, doused in peppermint oil in hopes of the mice like leaving and not coming back in because she saw them coming through the radiator. That did not work. So every night she slept on this couch and heard those mice on top of the refrigerator and behind the closet. And she was freaking out. Okay, to be honest, the first day when I see the mice, I would freak out and I wouldn't even want to like be here. I would be like, I'm done, I'm leaving out. I'm no, 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 no. But she is brave. She stayed in this apartment for like four days. On Friday, she finally was like, I cannot take this, this is disgusting. She was freaking out as well. So we have a cousin that lives in Brooklyn and she called her and she basically packed up her stuff and went to Brooklyn to stay with her for a couple of days. We ended up coming back to New York Sunday afternoon. Now I'm gonna pause and we're gonna go back to the scene of me reading these text messages on our last day in Thailand. I was sitting there reading those text messages and I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I ended up just bawling. Like I was bawling my eyes out and Muzzy came to me and then I was just like crying, crying. And I'm like, Muzzy, I don't wanna go back home. I don't wanna go back to that apartment. I wanna leave, I don't wanna be there. We need to change apartments. Like, what do we do? Like, how can there be so many mice? Like, there's so many mice. She heard like all these mice on top of the fridge, on in the corner of like the closet. Like, we cannot live here anymore. Like, what are we gonna do? I was full on having a panic attack, like bawling my eyes out. So that was that. He calmed me down. He was like, listen, you are in Thailand right now. There's nothing, nothing that you can do. So chill. Like chill and we will figure it out once we get to new york fast forward we get back home on sunday and i obviously did not go inside the apartment we're on a um, five story walk up so i was like literally on the first floor and i'm just like waiting for him to come and tell me the news of like how bad it is so he went upstairs, he went to our apartment and he saw everything and there were mice droppings everywhere. Like in the kitchen, on our floor, or the living room, next to our bed, just everywhere, everywhere. And so he came downstairs and I was like, okay, okay, what are we gonna do? What's the situation? Like, wh how bad, is it? how bad is it? How bad is it? And he was like, It's bad. We're gonna have to get a hotel room because we cannot go back inside. So I freak out again and I'm like, oh shoot, like we're gonna have to like figure this out and like all this kind of stuff. So at this point, we have to find a cheap hotel. We are in New York City. We literally are in Midtown and it is so expensive. Hotels here are so expensive, especially last minute. After we decided that we could not stay in our apartment and we had to get a hotel, we went to the nearby Starbucks and with our luggage and just sat there to like process this and think about where to go next, what to do next. I was looking for a hotel to stay at. He was calling the superintendent and telling him the situation like, hey, this is what happened. We need someone to come into the apartment ASAP because there has to be holes we need to get these filled in ASAP. The next day, Muzzy went to the apartment with the super 
and he saw the holes. And basically there were holes behind our radiator, there was holes behind our fridge, and that's where the mice came from. So if you are trying to find an apartment in New York, you need to make sure that there are no holes in your apartment, no holes. And if you see any holes, you need to tell them to fill them in before you move in because then you might have a mice issue. You're welcome. Once the super saw that there were holes that needed to get filled in ASAP, next day, so it was Tuesday now, they brought some people in, they filled in all the holes. And so they did that and then we were free to come back to the apartment. I was just so grossed out of the mice. I didn't want to come back to the apartment. I was like, I know that the holes are filled in, but there were mice in our apartment. And you know, it's disgusting. And I, I it just felt disgusted. So what we did the same day, we looked up like a professional cleaning service and they came in that same day and they cleaned everything. She was amazing. She literally cleaned everything from our dishes to our kitchen to our floors to our bedroom like every single to our like chess pieces like literally everything she was amazing and then that night i finally felt like <sighs> i can breathe and to be honest it took me like at least a month i feel like a month and a half to fully be comfortable in our apartment without feeling like mice took over. I know it sounds crazy that mice took over or whatever, but like, ah, that's disgusting. Like mice, like roaming around your apartment, like, like that's disgusting and like, ew. Thankfully now it is like the end of May and we have had zero issues since. So I'm very, very happy. But yeah, I just thought this was like a fun video to share with you guys because Anyone who's trying to come to New York, and people know that New York has mice, they have rats, and people are curious like if people have had experiences. But oh my god, like what an experience and what a crazy story. So yeah, this was my NYC mouse experience. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun listening to this. It was honestly like a crazy, crazy experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed my crazy story. And if you guys have any mouse stories, let me know down below. I would love to read them. I think that they're super entertaining. And yeah, if you guys found this video entertaining at all or helpful in any way, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. It really, really helps to support my channel and shows me that you guys are liking content like this. Okay guys, until next time.